Alright, so the exam is finally here. In this video, I'm going to give you five tips to help you pass your exam. So subscribe and let's dive right in. Tip number one, write down all the information. Oftentimes when you read a question, you may not understand instantly what you're supposed to do. So to help with this, write down all the information you have been given and eventually as you're doing this, you start to build connections between the bits of information and this will help you to then come up with a solution for your question. Tip number two, look out for keywords. As you read the question, look out for keywords that could give away the concept that is being tested. For example, in Pure One Maths, if they say tangent, a few topics should spring to mind. For example, the discriminant topic or differentiation, as well as the circles under coordinate geometry. These keywords will help you figure out which topic is being tested and it makes it easier to come up with a solution. Tip number three, draw diagrams. In the event that you're not given a diagram in the question, it's always best to sketch a diagram. This helps you to visualize and see patterns that may be difficult to see without a diagram. And overall, this helps with making your solution efficient. Tip number four, use the correct degree of accuracy. Always give your answer in an exact form. In the event that this is not possible, give your answer correct to three significant figures. For angles in degrees, give your answer correct to one decimal place. And for angles in radians, give your answer correct to three significant figures. And during your working out, make sure that you're using exact values or if that's not possible, use the full calculator display. This prevents you from losing marks for premature rounding off. Tip number five, blunder checking. For questions where you're solving an equation, always substitute your final answer back into the original equation. If this answer satisfies the original equation, that means your answer is correct. And if it doesn't, it means you've made a mistake somewhere. So go through your work and check for any mistakes and then try again with your new answer. This technique ensures that you don't lose marks from making silly arithmetic mistakes. That's all for this video. I wish you all the best in your exams. Good luck.